What up YouTube, it's your boy AA9Skills And welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory And it's been a while since we've done a RTG And really, well I only got myself to blame I've been enjoying making the My Player so much And I've been going ham on the My Player series So the Road to Glories haven't been coming out that fast Or that, that many at a time But that's gonna change I'm gonna start uploading more Road to Glories I know a lot of people love the Road to Glories more than the my players and i know there's a lot of people that like the my players more than the road road of glories so i gotta keep it 50 50 man i gotta keep everybody happy so but just to kind of get everybody up to date because it's been a while since i uploaded the road of glory to get everybody up to date i got two bronze teams i got an english team and i built that team because of the beast long that he just scored you might have just seen him score that nice goal i built this team because of him and then i got a spanish team with the beast Reiko. He's a center forward. He's an absolute monster of a player. It's definitely the one play I would recommend off of that team for, well, pretty much anybody to play with because he's an absolute monster. His name is Reiko and he's Spanish. Check him out. He's absolutely amazing. Loads of pace on him. And uh, yeah, um, just to get everybody up to date, I'm actually playing through the divisions. And uh, right now in this division, I got three wins, one draw, and I'm two wins away from jumping into the next division. Now, the reason I'm playing through the divisions is because I can't get games in the bronze cups. I don't know. Not enough people play bronze tournaments, so I got to play through the divisions. It's not something I wanted to do. I just wanted to play tournaments until I got to a uh, gold team, and then once I got to a gold team, play through the divisions. But life doesn't always go the way you want it to go, so I got to play bronze play with my bronze teams through the divisions now i'm quite curious because as you can see i'm doing well in this game i'm up three to one i've only the worst result i got in this division was a draw and remember this is just the first division the division you start in ultimate team but the worst result i got was a draw i've won three games about to win four and i'm, I'm curious to see how far can i get with a bronze team or bronze teams and through these divisions because i really thought it would be harder i take more losses but I guess I won't find out because right now my goal, what I'm doing is just playing, trying to win as many games as I possibly can with these bronze teams to save up enough coins to move and build two silver teams. Then I'll do the same thing with silver teams, save up and then build a gold team and so on. So, you know, keep going like that. So right now, play on my two bronze teams. As you can see, I'm one win away from being into the next division. And it's clutch to keep winning games and going up in divisions because you do get a pretty big prize after you win a division. Get a good sump of coins or a good amount of coins. So my goal is just to keep trying to win as many games as I possibly can. But I am curious, man. I wonder if I could get to like division two or maybe even division one with bronze teams. I don't think it's possible. Uh, I'm pretty bad of a player, but... I don't know. It would be, it would be, I'm curious to find out. It's interesting. It would be cool for me to try and then once I go on like a major losing streak when I build a new team, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would think would make the series most exciting. Would it be to just start building new teams right when I have the coins or to go as far as I possibly can until I go on a little bit of a lose streak? Let's say like I lose two games in a row, then I have to build a new team. You know what I mean? be interesting right it would be interesting let me know in the comments down below what you guys think but let me start commentating a little bit on the gameplay and uh, as you can see this is the last game last game if i win this we're going into the next division and akinsola makes it 2-0 in the 22nd minute reiko scored the first goal off of a sexy volley and now akinsola making it 2-0 this game was well it was interesting he scored a pretty sexy goal right there. And the reason he did that was I was having a little bit of fun. I was comfortable, so I was trying to skill and score nice goals. And then he came back down. He was doing a little bit of skill moves himself, and then he just got that bicycle kickoff. So I know I know he was feeling like a beast after that. You know, when, you're, when someone's trying to skill on you, you just score a crazy goal. You just feel good after that. You know what I mean? But 40th minute, the ball falls to Totti. And then, well, I'm just going to smash it. I smash it into the back of the net. <clears throat> And making the game three to one and after that it was it was pretty much just comfortable man i pretty much cruised after that point it was opportunity after op opportunity falling to me and it was just really me putting them into the back of the net and most of the times i did fail i'm not gonna lie to you i failed a lot but 
I also put him away when I needed to. Akinsola picks up his second goal of this game, making it 4-1. to one. That's 4-1, to one, right? 4-1 to one or 3-1? to one. I lost count already. How do you lose count so soon? My goodness, I got to go back to kindergarten. I can't count. What is that? 4-1. to one. Yeah, so and then I win a corner. He gets a goal line clearance there. Win myself a corner. Lago Jr. sends it to the middle. And well, it's in the back of the net. That's 5-1. Uh-oh, I'm learning how to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He comes back. Ref gives a penalty. I thought that was a bit soft. I thought I won the ball. Didn't think it was a penalty. And he has Donovan. He steps to the spot with Donovan. Goes straight down the middle. It's in the back of the net. Every time this guy scored, he did like really, really long celebrations. But this right here. Wow, man. Wow. Akinsola off of a volley. It's a beautiful goal, man. A wonderful finish over the top through pass. Just a stunning, stunning shot. It just looks so good the way it dips at the end. Whoa. So a nice goal there, making it 6-2 to two from Akinsola. Akinsola picked up his hat trick. And here goes Reiko. We talked about him in the beginning of the, vi of the video. Look at him. Burns past everybody. Right past that goalkeeper. Makes it 7-2. to two. So the big moment of this game came right here. Came right here, right? 85th minute, over the top it to Lago Jr. Lago Jr. puts it into the back of the net. So now it's 8-2. to two. Now I was on a mission to score another goal because I knew if I left it 8-2 to two in the comments down below, you guys would just do 8-2 to two jokes. But he scored on me. I was trying hard to score so the 8-2 to two jokes wouldn't come. He scored, making it 8-3, to three, so it's all good. We couldn't keep it at 8-2. You guys will just go ham with 8-2 jokes. So there it is, man. I advanced, uh, win another good amount of coins there, and I advanced into my next division. Let me know in the comments down below what would make this series most interesting if I should continue to try to go through divisions with my bronze teams, and then when I go, when I lose, let's say, three games in a row, I have to switch to, bro to my silver team and then do the same thing with silver. When I lose three games in a row, switch to gold. I don't know. Let me know something cool down below, however you think it should be done. Thank you guys so much for watching. A like is always appreciated. If you did enjoy, of course, subscribe if you enjoy that content. I'm your boy, AA9Skills, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Oh yeah, yeah boy.